Here we're going to talk about progress notes. So progress notes will be found in the clinical chart under the progress note tab. So you'll come here and there's a lot of sorting that we can do for our progress notes. So one of the main things you'll see is new, view all, and then display EMAR progress notes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for the progress notes, you come click new. It's very self-explanatory. We'll go over this part in detail. And then the view all function will help you view all and it'll automatically default to the last 24 hours. So then you can just come here and select last 30 days, seven days, and then or all notes. Something that you'll do here is it'll sort it. So then you can click back and go through some of these notes. These are all just fake notes that we've had people practice with. Come back here. Then here, display EMAR progress notes. So you may find that as you're passing meds, if somebody refuses or if something is out of parameters, oftentimes you'll have to create a note for blood sugar. That note will then pop up here. And you'll see as you're giving those, it'll pop up here and you'll be able to see resident refused or whatnot. Okay, so if you come to new, you can then create progress notes. There's only about three or four progress notes, kinds of progress notes that I would actually worry about writing. So the first one is the behavior note. So a lot of, a lot of these are just a big free text box. And what you'll do with the behavior note is you just write any type of abnormal behavior that they're having. So agitation, or, um, if they are throwing their food, if they're hitting another resident, if they are acting out of the ordinary. And what this will do is a behavior note will trigger and it'll show up on a dashboard and people doing reviews of that chart, uh, your DON, it's very helpful. It'll, it'll alert them. You can also search previous notes. In this case, he doesn't have any, so you can do a follow-up for those. You can change the date that it's effective, so you can come here and change the date. What it will do if you do a previous date, it will just do late entry, so it'll just automatically put a late entry just to, just to let people know that you did put in late, which isn't a big deal. Just make sure you're writing progress notes on time when possible. The next one is a communication with the physician or family or resident. Really like this physician one, it walks you through every step. So the S bar, so what happened, what's the background, what is your assessment, and then what do you recommend? And then any orders here. Very helpful just to type that out, show our line of thinking and the physician's line of thinking and the outcome and what we decided to do. And you'll come here, lab or x-ray. Also helpful when you get lab or x-ray results and you've got a physician, um, they have the orders or the, the after they've reviewed it. So we can just say we did a CBC. Yes, we can say like white blood count was like 14. And then we got amoxicillin. Obviously it'll be a little bit more detailed than that when you're actually writing it, but that's kind of the gist. The next one you can do which is probably the most common fail safe is just a nursing progress note. So you just come to this note text, whatever happened during your shift, you can just type it right there. And that is it. So you can click save. Obviously it'll tell you who and what time you can choose to show based on different reports that your DON or other people may pull. You can choose for this to show up on there. You can also save it as a draft, which will only be visible to you and your DON. And then once you decide to post it uh, or save it, then, then it will be visible to everybody. A cool thing you can do with progress notes, so you can, you can view or print them here. Um, once you view it, you can then come and follow up. Obviously my notes are gonna be pretty bare bones for this just to show you, but it will be something that you'll want to be very thorough in with your notes, but you can click a follow-up. So here you've got your follow-up note. So this has resolved um, whatever is the situation and 
click save and then you'll come here and then you can see that this is a note so it really only says what you typed which can be kind of confusing so you want to make sure that what you typed does make sense but then you come and click view here then you can see a view all and it'll open up a new window with all of the progress notes kind of goes down shows a good history if it would load there we go so there you go i would say an important thing when you're writing progress notes is to remember that you don't want to include too much guessing detail but you do want to include enough detail so that we can create an intervention so for example you don't want to say resident sneezed which must have caused them to get a bloody nose no assumptions we don't want to assume resident appeared like they were walking and fell the rest the resident must have gotten out of bed and tripped on something on the floor we don't know these things you can only write what was factual so resident sneezed resident got a bloody nose resident was found in their room on their stomach they stated that they tripped on the rug resident stated that they fell out of their wheelchair or their bed so you'll want to make sure you include statements and no guesswork the last thing you want to remember to do is just write what you did so the the best thing to do is no assumptions write what you saw and what you did and what was the outcome so the best thing is what did you see? What did you do? What was the outcome? If you follow this formula, all your progress notes should be pretty spot on.